Good afternoon. So my name is Joe Nuspel, and I'm here to talk about how to DevOps days. It seems kind of odd because you're already here. But I wanted to give you some ideas, some, some hints of what you can do while here. So who am I? I'm Joe Nuspel, as I said. I'm a principal engineer at Workday. I maintain some open source cookbooks for Chef, and I occasionally blog, not as often as I should. Most people uh, know me from DevOps Days Portland, where I am Cowbell Joe. As Nell pointed out, I'm like the geek nerd herder, where I, 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 I tell people when it, the breaks are over and when things are going on. The other thing I wanted to say about DevOps Days is remember, this is all volunteer run. The organizers have put in countless hours. There have been snafus along the way. Please thank them. There's stuff going on that you don't know about. It looks smooth. So how do you make the most out of uh, DevOps days? This really came to me when I talked to people and said, well, how was the conference? And they're like, meh. And I'm like, well, come on. Let's, let's think about what you could do to make it better. So the first thing I always say is relax. DevOps is a journey. Some people are going to be ahead of you on the journey. Some people are behind you. Relax, it's a journey. It's not where you're gonna be, it's how to get there. So first tip, get on Twitter. Follow the speakers, organizers, projects you like, uh, sponsors. Uh, I really like to think about Twitter as crowdsourcing information discovery. People will post articles and they're like, hey, that's cool. The biggest thing while here, talk to people. Hopefully you struck up some conversations at lunch. Um, where you work is not as important as what you do. And also just making those connections because you never know where your next job will be or where your next hire will come from. The big thing about this is really cross-pollination. That's a bee up there on a sunflower. So, you know, getting new ideas, uh, expanding your horizons. This is my big one. Ignore your coworkers. You can talk to them after the conference, unless you're sitting there strategizing of which open spaces you're going to go to. You're here to learn from other people. Talk to your coworkers afterwards. Utilize the hallway track. Um, continue open space discussions, or you talk to the speakers. The thing I like to do is to talk to the people who ask the questions, because they might be on a similar stage in the journey that you are. Attend the evening event. This seems a simple thing, but it, it surprises me that you only have 40 to 50% attendance rate at the evening event. Who doesn't like bowling? So continue those conversations. Also, there are some of the talks, there may be, you may be at a Linux-only shop and there's a Windows talk. Why would you attend? Take out the technique instead of concentrating on the implementation. You're trying to learn strategy. Um, this really should be DevOps friends. Um, but so take a, you know, you're having a, uh, a conversation with somebody, take a selfie or an ussy um, with a person, tag them in there so you can go back and scroll back through um, your feed. Don't be a jerk. When you're in the open spaces, comments like get a real operating system or use a real editor, all those things. You're using X, that's your problem. Th that, that may seem funny at the time, but really, you're stifling the conversation. If somebody says, well, Jeff Smith is really great, but he, people are ripping on him about that, then I can't speak up. You're stifling the conversation. Don't try to be funny like that. And really, the other part is, is having compassion. You know, part of these things, th these decisions at your company were made before you were there, or you don't have the power to change them. You're really trying to be here to figure out, how can I make my life suck less? Uh, simple math, two ears, one mouth. At a minimum, you should listen twice as much as you speak. Don't dominate the conversations is really what it boils down to. So obligatory, we're hiring. Uh, and I want to leave you with a quote from the great philosopher Vanilla Ice. Now it is time to stop, collaborate, and most importantly, listen. <laughs> so thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>